and I'm not talking about bum fights. I know uh-huh. that's been done, but almost like uh, like uh, cockfights that they do. But we get a couple of homeless guys and throw some cans in the middle, and have them collect them up, oh. and they got to just kind of peck at each other to we, get the cans. We could do the same thing with two radio execs. Well, that's true too. Yeah, they could fight <laughs> over the cans. <laughs> <laughs> well, a homeless. Um, I you, I read boss, you might want to sit back for about five minutes because oh. because I'm segging into something. Go ahead. Oh, brother! <laughs> and certainly, we'll be back uh, to you in a minute. But we have to uh, bitch and complain for about five minutes. And uh, before they get panicky, Pete's down the hall. We're not talking about this company. Oh no, no. We're we want to about talk that. about a little yeah. radio company called Citadel Broadcasting. Yes. Citadel Broadcast. Shouldn't we save this break for like 7.30 when everybody's listening? I think we should just continuously <laughs> weave it through the program okay. today uh, for the entire day because it's such a special day. Right. This is officially <laughs> yeah. the last day you'll be able to trade uh, Citadel right. stock on um, on uh, uh, the, big, the, the big boys board. Yes. Let's uh, let's go back in time when radio was very very healthy. Yes, and and your boys Opie and Anthony were doing very very well. Yes, starting to do well financially, starting to do well professionally. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Our personal lives, well, they were in shambles, but that's okay. That's never mattered. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was always the least of our worries. Right. You're right. I mean, you could always dump a bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> I lived with a crazy broad for so long. I'm like, ah, oh. I'll get to that situation someday. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember, I remember vacationing on Cape Cod when the word came down. Do you want to be in on an IPO? Why don't you explain what an IPO is? And remember the good old days when someone would come up to you, and not many people were fortunate enough to be in on the the little the little insider club there. Opie, uh, let me tell the people: only the movers and shakers got <laughs> in on the IPOs. Uh, that is known as a, a initial uh, public offering, right? And what it is is uh, your chance mm-hmm. to buy the stock of a mm-hmm. brand new company that's just uh, becoming public mm-hmm. uh, at whatever rate, whatever price they they deem will be their opening price. Right. And then from there, the sky's the limit. Usually the stock shoots up from that point and you are just rolling. I mean, literally rolling in the dough. Let me uh, use an example. Um, let me just pick one out of my, uh, you know, that area. Yeah. Uh, Google. Google. Google was outrageous for their IPO because I believe it was uh, teetering around. It was around $100 a share, which is crazy for an initial public offering. And who has that type of money? Who has that kind of case? But it's an IPO, so you start, like, uh, calling in favors and selling everything you got. You get in on the Google. You get in on that Google. And uh, it it immediately shot up, I believe, to almost $200 a share. It was one of those stocks where you were like, oh, my God, <laughs> I got in on this. Right. And this is like how you make your fortunes. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah. So when the word came down that we could get it in on the Citadel IPO, we're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ground floor. What did we deser- uh, do in our lives to deserve this? How much and where do I send the check? <laughs> right. That's how we were. And I, Eager little beavers. And I think at that time, uh, uh, it was almost a guarantee every IPO would go through the roof. Almost a guarantee. Yeah, we're yeah. like. Well, look at us, and we are like our lives are rocking. Now we're being invited to be in on IPOs. We we're, it's it's a, it's a business we understand. Radio, how could we lose? We got uh we got some liquid assets, right? And uh, we're we're able to uh you know scrape up some cash and For, and, and, sure. and throw it into this. I remember vacationing on Cape Cod. The, the the word came down. There were phone calls as I'm kind of like just sunning and walking the beaches. Yeah. I got my cell phone and I'm wheeling and dealing with the with the big wigs back in New York to get in on the IPO. Oh, I have to fax a few things. Oh, it was crazy. But I'm like, I am in. And then I called you Anthony and like, in. you got in, right? I'm he goes, like, I sure oh, did, Ope. I sure did. I'm in. <laughs> and, and I was the kind of guy, I was the kind of guy that like, uh, as far as trading stock goes, just wait, Rich. You might have a heart attack at the end of this at the end of this segment. 
<laughs> as far as stock goes, I was always the in-out kind of guy, buy some stock, sure. get out, things like that. This was really going to be kind of a long for me, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was going to hang in with this one uh, for a while, uh, so I figured I'm not just going to buy a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Let's really invest like a man. Oh, yeah. Let's invest some real money, Ope. None of this fooling around crap. No. None of this, ah, we'll throw a couple thousand at it and see what happens. No, 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 no. I was basically, how much do I have in the bank right now? Let <laughs> me just write that check. I'll transfer <laughs> funds, whatever I need to do. And uh, and I think we, we went in exactly the same amount, yeah, the same yeah. shares. We said, how many shares can I get for one Hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> no way. So yep. me and Opie each, 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 each took one hundred thousand dollars. So, so Mortimer and Randolph, right? <laughs> exactly. And purchased each of us purchased five thousand five hundred shares of Citadel. Of Citadel Broadcasting. Hundred thousand. I, I never wrote a check for anything larger in my life. Which at nineteen dollars a share I do equaled out to about a hundred thousand dollars. Yes, for fifty five hundred shares. It was a little more than a hundred G's. Yeah, whatever, whatever it was. Oh, just a little and more. That didn't make you nervous. It's no, an IPO. It's What's wrong with you, Rich Voss? It's a sure thing, Rich. See how stupid you are. <laughs> We're getting in on the ground floor. <laughs> Holy. The ground floor. Not only was I not nervous, I was feeling really good. I was starting to look at vacation homes and, and uh, all sorts of stuff. I was seeing a retirement like uh, like you see in the movies. Right. Feeling good, Opie. <laughs> Looking good, Opie. I'm on the beach. You're on the yacht. La -da -da -da. Yeah, that's, you so, know. And then, in all fairness, after we got in initially for 100 Gs each. Yeah. The stock was at nineteen dollars a share. Nineteen. I do believe, like IPOs do, it did go up. It didn't go up like a Google, but but it it went up. What to was the what was the official high of Citadel? Twenty two dollars a share. So I remember it, Ed and I going, all right. Well, we just uh, are. It's here. It goes. It's now up three dollars a share. We got what fifty five hundred shares. So we're we're talking about a fifteen thousand dollar profit already. We're thinking something like that, right? Sixteen five. Well, I wasn't thinking yeah, sixteen five. You're right. And I wasn't thinking you'd get out. I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm like here this, it goes. I'm like, this is a good start. We're on the road because this now up, 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 up. Here it goes, Alice. Up, up, up. Yeah, it's going up. Well, uh, shortly after the uh, the high of twenty two dollars a share, it certainly went back down below nineteen dollars a dipped share. It dipped back, but so, you know something. So now we're officially now we're officially losing money on in this. the hole a bit, well, a long, little bit. How long did it take for it to drop? Uh, not not too long. I'd have to look at the chart, but not too long. It, my it stayed at twenty two for I think ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you had a ten minute window of opportunity to punch out. <laughs> and there uh, were signs that radio was changing, but we're like, ah, radio will figure it out, and and in turn, are. Citadel will go back up to where it should be because other radio companies were in the forties, rich. And so we're thinking nineteen dollars yeah. a share. If it goes up into the forties, like these other companies, oh my oh, god. And let me We're tell making you well else. over a hundred thousand in profit. A little, uh, a little man named uh, Fareed was running the company, who was like one of the financial uh, whizzes at Infinity Broadcasting. When Mel Carmson was, was running this what joint, they called the Bean Counter. So sure. I figure, hey, We're in this good, guy knows money. We're all right. We're in good hands. Yeah, and we knew he had a private jet. Oh yeah, and he wanted to syndicate us, and he did syndicate right. us. Oh, it was everything was coming together. Uh, well, it steadily just kept declining <laughs> down through 18. Uh, I believe we started voicing a concern to each other when it broke through the $17 barrier uh -huh. into the 16 and change. And then we're thinking, is this coming back? Should we punch out now, take the loss? Blah, blah, blah. Well, let me tell you, the faith and confidence we had mm -hmm. in in the genius management skills of Fareed mm -hmm. and and uh, Judy, Judy mm -hmm. uh, over there at Citadel 
We could not be shaken. Mm-hmm. We knew this was coming back. Mm-hmm. Even as it fell through 16, 15, 14, and 13, mm-hmm. we knew. We sure did. That it was coming back at some point. <laughs> and then it dropped to 16. Well. And then 15. 14. 13. 13 and, I, 12, and, and all I kept thinking is 11. we're going to bottom at 10 because there's no way it's going right. into the, the single digit things. This is going to, it's definitely going to come back. And then it got to, and then it got to a point, Rich, where I, out of principle, I was never going to sell this. Never. Thing. <laughs> People were like, "You just got to take the loss and like, see if you can write nope. it off against some gains they nope. can have that year and stuff." And I'm like, "No, I am holding this because I don't want to be the guy regretting going. You know what? I sold that at thirteen a share, right? And now what is it? What? What? Could you check what? Yeah, fifty three. Yeah, it's at fifty three, and I sold it. Well." Ding, ding, there's the $10 mark. It just punched through <laughs> Look at Rich. into the nines. Rich, I would dream for a $10 share oh stock my. at this point. <laughs> Look at Rich's Good. eyes like, oh, my God. I, I would, would be <laughs> popping Dom Perignon and lighting cigars with $100 bills right. if I could off that stock at 10 bucks a share. Right. It would be a victory. Yeah. As it fell through nine, eight, eight seven, six, six five, four, Three, two, one. Yeah. Now, once you fall below the dollar mark, NASDAQ and Wall Street and everyone and, takes and notice. Dow starts <laughs> going, starts going, look, you got to do something because we don't, we don't trade penny stocks. Yeah. So if you don't get your, your stock price above a dollar, we delist you. Yeah. From the uh, NASDAQ or the uh, sure. uh, Dow Jones. Uh, Th- they they then take you and put you in this thing called the pink sheets. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like if you go to Times Square and it's like bah, nah, 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 the lights, there's tourists, there's movie theaters, there's uh, TGI Fridays, whatever you need, it's right there. And then you turn down one of those side streets. Mm-hmm. Those are the pink sheets as compared to like the real Wall Street. Traders. This is off off Wall Street. <laughs> yes, this is off off Wall Street. You know how they like to talk about off Broadway. This is off off Wall Street. Okay, so well, it goes to a dollar. We yeah. watched. At what point do you start blaming the Jews? At what dollar? Uh, no, actually, no, no, uh, no. Farid and uh, and uh, Judy were being blamed. Yeah. Uh, and during this time, they they had the wisdom, the foresight. Uh huh. Uh, the smarts mm-hmm. to just uh, yank us from every station that they had us on, right? Even though we were doing very well, we were doing very well, and uh, they they were not paying us a lot of money. No, no. And we even decided, all right, we'll take a we'll take a, another drastic pay cut. Just and to then stay they in the market. Then they officially came to us and said, we can't even pay that anymore. Yeah. Well, so it, the fact that you already put a hundred grand in, yeah. So yeah. the fact that you lose in everything, yeah. Uh, your reward is to get taken off. The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To try to yeah. get yeah. the money back. So yeah, that's yeah your take reward. it off of the You know station. what? You guys invested in us. We lost your money. Yeah. Here's how we're going to pay you. You're fired. Take it easy. Right. Well, take a hike. Oh. So we're at about a dollar, right? Well, a year ago is a dollar eighty six. Dollar eighty six. One year ago today. Right. Six. That mo- was the year's high. Six months ago, it was ninety cents a share. Rich Voss, remember. We put in a hundred thousand dollars each. Yes, and uh, we we did nineteen dollars a share. Three months ago, it was twenty four cents a share. Yes, Rich Voss. Three months ago, one month ago, it was nineteen cents a share. What about my career or the stock? Nineteen, yeah, <laughs> nineteen get, cents a share. So that's a penny on every dollar. Right. For the share, right? So far, a week right ago, there. it was fourteen cents a share. Rich Voss. A week ago. Oh, I, I, I wish it was still 14 cents. I, oh, my God. <laughs> to get out at 14 cents, I would feel like uh, uh, like the guy on the Monopoly cards yeah. when you take a <laughs> yeah. community chest. Remember, th- this story started 20 minutes ago at $19 a share. Yes. Now we're at 14 cents a share. 14 cents. I cannot wait till you guys are living on the street and you <laughs> a bundle oh. of money and you guys go, we're back in the game. Yeah. Well, yesterday, Citadel... Officially closed. Are you ready for this, Rich Voss? $19. At a penny a share. One cent. A. (laughs) Mortimer. (laughs) So if you want to, like, point and laugh at Opie and Anthony today, to summarize this 20 minute break, our $100,000 investment that we did a mere 
four, I think four or five years ago, yeah. is now worth, do we have a drum roll? Our $100,000 investment. 100000 each. Each. We each put in 100000 So that's 200000 that was invested in there. Right. But $100,000 <laughs> investment that we made. Yeah. We have a drum at roll. the IPO. Right. Ground floor. Right. Is now worth $55. <laughs> How can the price be going down? Something's wrong. Where's Wilson? We take Fifty-five dollars. We just turned a hundred thousand dollars into fifty-five dollars. Ten of what we invested makes a million. All right. I can't even buy a pair of new jeans. Ten of with what my we initial have now investment makes five hundred and fifty dollars. Ten of what we had right. makes a million. Right. Ten of what we have now right. makes five hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Your investment can get you a half a pair of sneakers. Yes, right. A right. hundred thousand would, would have been a, a nice vacation home somewhere. Now we can barely yes. afford. I, you can get a cheap pair of jeans for fifty five dollars. I can't buy oh. a full box of ammo for my Desert Eagle <laughs> with what with what the, my stock is worth now. But what? See, I don't do stocks. But what I keep hearing, especially what uh, liberals are saying, is wait it out and it'll come back. Yeah, <laughs> That's what I'll saying. wait that one out. That stock certificate, by the way. Yeah, I have the actual certificate. I don't even know where mine is. It is going in a frame. Yeah, it is hanging on my wall in yeah. my office to stare at. As a reminder yeah. of the giant cluster F that any involvement we've ever had with Citadel Broadcasting has yeah. brought us. Fareed and 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 Judy uh, were quote it was it, they weren't quoted, but a journalist uh, 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 said in the paper yesterday. I was reading an article on how the the stock is is a penny, and they were talking about how the old management team at Citadel before they took over. Had uh, shows that were uh, conservative talker WABC. Mm -hmm. I mean that 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 uh, station bills, and then in their infinite wisdom, Farid and Judy decided to put on shows on there that were off topic for conservative talkers, and and just they said that the incompetent management brought Citadel to the point it's at now, and that is Farid and Judy. Thank you, guys. The two people that can can uh, go down in history as taking a stock that was at $19 a share at the IPO, went up to 22 and then sunk down to where it's now being thrown out to the pink sheets at one penny a share, taking everybody's $100,000 investment and magically turning it into $55 and having not a clue where any of that money went. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you $60 each <laughs> and buy you both out. I want okay, it. You're going to make $5 each today. The certificate to me is well worth <laughs> Okay. No, I've I, never I, had a I have a piece of paper that I bought for $100,000. Yeah. A piece of paper. <laughs> oh. I have a square 8 by 10 piece of paper. I could have bought a work of art. <laughs> That I could have hung on my wall. I'm, oh. That would have been envied. I'm I'm a fan of some of Picasso's stuff. Not you when probably not when he have gotten a Picasso. Not when he got weird where he put the eyeball on the cheek and stuff. He did his stuff before that. Oh my god! I, I think I might have been able to Dude, like Picasso. You get something buy nice. A you could have got. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see. Maybe somebody can go on a site, maybe uh, here or or uh, uh, online. Uh, Pal Talk. I yeah. know a lot of people there. Yeah. Um. They they can maybe go online and see what type of famous art, something we'd all know, that we could have bought for a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh. That I could have hung on my wall instead of a stock certificate. Yeah. That will do nothing but remind me. So once again, our one hundred thousand dollar investment is officially worth fifty five dollars today. Fifty five dollars. Thank you, Fareed and Judy, for uh, that great investment, the great company, 
and the great uh, see you later once they booted us out the door. Yeah. Once they ran out of cash. Yeah. Thank you. Good, good job. How would, I would be out of my mind. Yes. Whoa! Oh, no! Whoa! Oh, whoa! whoa! We're giving whoa. the David reaction. Oh, oh no! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> and that's how we start today. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> John says it. I, 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 you know, what are you going to do? Let's go to John. What, what are you going to do? John will talk for all listeners today. John, I'm John? Long Island. How are you, John? Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, you have to. You have to. You have to just See, laugh. This is this is why our show is is quite different than every other radio show out there. No one's going to show you the underbelly of of our souls. Yeah, no one does that. Every other radio guy is like, "I look how great I am." Yeah. Not us. We we do we do a little of that. Look how great we are. Uh-huh. But we also do the other side. Look, and... the, look at what idiots we were <laughs> when we went into this IPO. <laughs> oh, it's worth fifty five dollars, Rich. For real, oh, the, I'm not even joking. No, no. Is, Being can't... Jewish, you got to be having like an aneurysm or well, something right now. I, the good thing is it didn't happen. And look at Rich. He's, he's all itchy, and it's not even him. Oh, I know. He's yes. just, like, imagining what this would do to him. Well, but at least it took a while, and it didn't ruin your vacation in Cape Cod. At least. Oh, dude, I was I was kind of, I remember being mad after I did this uh, deal. I'm like, why didn't I, why, I, I have a little more. Oh, my why God. Why did I not go more in? That's how I'm justifying See, it. And then you can look at it like you're a winner. And then when it went down <laughs> to like $10 and 8 and all that, I'm like, oh, my God. This great is a great buying opportunity. So, and I was ready to go all in again. The one time. So I, I guess it could have been worse. Oh. The it, one time I bought stock, I bought a mutual fund. I put 5000 in. A mutual fund. I don't know anything. All I know is I'm watching okay. it every night because I'm gambler, a gambler. But it, yeah, but it's a mutual fund. It's not going to oh. really spike. Well, and... it started dropping. It, it went from $80. Then it was dropping, and I got out and made three hundred. It went from eighty dollars to like four dollars. I would have lost my oh, five. Really? Yeah, hey. and five to me is like two hundred thousand yeah. to you. Hey, you know, uh, let, me, let me go to John in Denver. John is doing a little math here. John, Opie and Anthony, uh, if you'd have taken that hundred thousand dollars, invested it in beer, not the company, but cans of beer, you could have drank the beer. And sold the aluminum today for a hundred and forty-seven dollars. <laughs> we would have made more on the aluminum at a scrapyard. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's uh, some perspective. You know what, uh, Kevin in Jersey, Kevin. I, uh, is this Opie and Anthony? Yes. Hey guys, guess what? You just won a hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boy, is that justice. You know what? This this is... uh, No, no, uh, I'm sorry. You got 55 bucks. What? 55 bucks, man. Hey, can you guys... I was going to buy a new truck. All right, we'll play that for you, Kevin. I know where you're going. The $100,000, how many candy bars can we now buy? Candy bars are still under a buck, right? 55, probably like... Maybe a hundred candy bars. Sometimes they go on sale two most. for one at guess. Yeah, there you go. I guess. All right, so we, we would we would get around a soon. we would get around a hundred candy bars for a hundred thousand dollars. Can you imagine? Can you imagine someone went to you and go, all right, you see this hundred thousand? I want you to go to your local convenience store. Yeah, Seven Eleven, what have you? Quick check, huh? Yeah. Ah. Oh. And I want you to buy a hundred candy bars for that. Yeah. People would go. We would go. You're crazy. What are you talking about? Why? What are they, Wonka bars? Is there yeah. a magic ticket yeah. what inside? what are you talking about? No, really. The, trust me on this one. This is what your 100000 is going to be worth someday. So just, you might as well go and just buy the 100 candy bars now. Yeah. What? Well. Can we play the 100 grand as we go to break? The phones are lit. People are doing math. I have a quick. We'll go to the there. phones after uh, after yeah, the break. I, lo- I love the perspective thing. I yeah, love when people yeah. can put it in these certain perspectives yeah. that, uh, yeah, that's that's really good. Perhaps we could find out. If you laid a dollar end to end, how far a hundred thousand of them go? Yeah. As opposed to fifty five of them. Okay. And see how far we could have gone. You know, yeah. when they go, Oh, you could have taken stack the money up and it goes to the moon and back. Yeah. Uh, let's see how a hundred thousand dollars laid end to end. Yeah. How far that is and how far fifty five is. Right. <laughs> 
You can take those certificates <laughs> and put them on, on eBay, at least. I could probably do that and sell it for oh more than God. 55 bucks. I think if I sign mine, I yeah. can maybe yeah, get $20. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, no, you can make more than 55 bucks. Yes, you I think? start the yeah. bidding at right. 102000 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> $102,000. Start the bidding. We uh, we once gave away a hundred grand, and this is the end of that fine contest we did many years ago. And I believe we got a break here. What? I believe that's why this happened to us. This is karma. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Mel. Uh, uh, Jim Jeffries joins the program next. But first, this. Hi, who's this? Hey, it's Craig from Waltham. Hey, Craig. Uh, guess what? Oh, did I win? You are the hundred and seventh caller. No way! Did I, damn it, I won! Good, I won! Oh, no way! You're kidding, right? 107th. Oh, wow! 107th caller. Congratulations. 100 grand! Oh, my God! You just won 100 grand, bro. Oh, Jesus. Do you know what I want to do with that? What are you going to do with 100 oh, grand? Man, the first thing, I have this old... Oh, I cannot... Jeez. I got to calm... Calm down. Calm oh. yourself. I, I am the winner. I'm the winner! Well, what are you going to do with 100 grand, bro? <laughs> I got this... Oh, man. I got this box for a truck. I've got to get a new one. A new... Tr oh, that... Oh. Wait, wait, dude! How are you gonna do that with a candy bar? What? How are you gonna do that with a, a candy bar? We just, we just gave you a, a hundred grand candy bar. What do you, what do you mean? We gave away a hundred grand. It's, no. a, it's, it's a candy bar, bro. Congratulations! What? We you just won a candy bar. Hey, what the? F you been? So I've been listening to the f radio for like three hours, man. You said a hundred grand. Yeah, a hundred grand. We gave you a candy That's bar. A candy Congratulations, bar. buddy, buddy. Oh, you guys are a bunch of two. Hey, 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 Congratulations, hey. man. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> he was pissed. Good morning to everybody. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Rich Voss in studio today. And Jim Jeffries has joined the program. Uh, yes. He walked in My own? in the middle of that uh, that little rant we were doing. If you're just tuning in, oh, boy, you missed a good one. Oh. Basically, our $100,000 investment in Citadel Broadcasting, we invested about five years ago, is now worth $55 today. Yeah. We turned $100,000 into $55. And we never, by the way, we never sold. This isn't if we didn't sell crap. This is what it is. Our $100,000 is now worth yeah. $55. We never sold. It's worth a penny right. today. If, if you were to take that $100,000 and... March 20th and 21st, bought tickets at the Arlington Cinema Draft House ah. to see me. Do you know how many people could get in March 20th and 21st at the Arlington Cinema Draft House for $100,000? Wow. I'm saying 10. Yes, because it's 1000 a ticket. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying it's 55 bucks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh I, was the other way. I only got 100000 I thought I was spending that you know, $55. And it, everyone's doing the fun math on, on the phones, Ant. Yeah. Uh, everyone knows Ant drives an Escalade. That hundred thousand dollars, you now you you could barely you can't you can't even fill your Escalade well, for that, the fifty five dollars. That's what I wanted to get on. It's something even better. I could have bought an Escalade, cash, right, and another car. Yeah. And now that money, I can't even fill my tank up. Right. How many With hair gas. plugs could you have bought? They're not plugs. Oh. They're the following. <laughs> They're individual follicles that were placed in the head from the harvest well, area and the back of the head, and then they yeah, put them in yeah, the thinny yeah, area yeah, one at a yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got They're the plugs? plugs. Yeah, yeah. They're not plugs. I want to go to Bob in Connecticut because we're going to move on from the Citadel investment thing. Everyone was standing right. by, and then we could move on to hair loss and other things. Bob, go ahead. Hey, morning, boy. Hey, Bob. Uh, a dollar bill six inches long, so you would have had 50,000 feet or roughly nine and a half miles. Now you can go about twenty-seven and a half feet with the money. <laughs> wow! So you're talking almost almost ten miles. Almost ten miles. Mm -hmm. As opposed to not even as long as the room we're standing in. Right. right. About, as, about as wide as your office. Put, put it into kilometers. It sounds even worse. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's true. So nine and a half miles compared to twenty-seven feet. That's almost forty times around a, a quarter-mile track. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to not even walking right. from the bleachers to the track. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we did to our uh, uh, our investment. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Thank you, Bob. That's, Fantastic. That's insane. <sighs> could have bought a uh, could have bought one of those uh, Z06s. Yeah. Could have bought a Z06 uh, and now a small could, flat. Couldn't even 
get enough gas in it to drive like uh, across Long yeah. Island. All right. We got to take another quick break and uh, catch up here, and we'll continue with the Opie and Anthony show. Righty-o. Actually, we could go to the FU you, line. You could have had a high end hooker for about oh my God. two months in your house, and yeah. you would have her just touch it now. Yeah. And now you get me. Oh, now you, now you get like a it. toothless, friggin' homeless woman. <laughs> Man, I need some lunch. <laughs> That's what you get now. Oh. Oh, God. You can put it in those terms. It's really depressing. No, that's it, depressing. Isn't it? We'll, we'll go old school. You can pick up a tunnel bunny, but you got to drop her off halfway through the tunnel. Halfway yeah, through the tunnel. And it could have just explain, been... Explain tunnel bunny. What is they that? They used to, in the 70s, when this uh, city was rocking, and we're heading back to the 70s big yeah, right. time, by Bring the way. Bring it back. You're going to start seeing this stuff. Oh, back but when $55 you, was worth something. You yeah. had these hookers. Mm-hmm. They were called tunnel bunnies, and they would wait outside the tunnel. Yeah. You'd pick them up. Yeah. They would do their business before you got to the other side, and you drop them off after you pay the toll. And then they take uh, the other tunnel on the way back. Yeah, yeah. they're called it's tunnel bunnies. Ingenuity. <laughs> Why does this not <laughs> happen anymore? It's ingenuity. <laughs> but the, right. do, the do-gooders in this city we, had to shut that uh, service down. Oh, it's just a poor girl trying to get a ride to the yeah. other side of town and back again. Uh-huh. And, and back again. Say, yeah. Back and forth all day long. All day just... I, I think you should have underground bunnies. And they could get off at different stops. Breathing yeah. in exhaust fumes Every, and, oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. squeegee. <laughs> we had the squeegee guys. We had all sorts of fun I, stuff I, I to I wonder if you had done for them to cough it up and it all to be black. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>